my God. We gained like a thousand subscribers overnight. The algorithm, it looks like they're finally accepting this channel. It's because of y'all, man. Keep hitting them like button. Now we're on the road to 5,000 subscribers. Oh my God. Now I did say when I hit a thousand, I was going to do um, Bill Burr's um, uh, a Philly rant. I tried to do it, tried to upload it, and it got age restricted. And I had to just take it down because I didn't want it to go further with like a community guideline strike. So I apologize for that, but instead I'm going to do this one. I'm afraid to get married, man. Why would, why wouldn't, as, why man wouldn't be afraid to get married at this point? You know, look at Kobe. Look at the shit he's going through right now. Epidemic. I, There's another Bill Burr classic, Epidemic of Gold Diggers. Get 70 million bucks. Never hit a layup in her life. You know, can anybody explain these divorce settlements? Can anybody make sense of these fucking things? Tiger Woods' wife, $250 million. She's a babysitter worth a quarter of a billion fucking dollars. Somebody, go ahead. Somebody explain, justify. Don't, don't let, don't let him wife. cook. What, he cheated on her? I don't give a fuck. Don't let him cook, bro. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. He cheated on her. Great, the relationship's over right then. Kobe cheated, right? Shouldn't that relationship been over right then? Why did she hang around like some jaded cop for three years trying to get a fucking pension? <laughs> right, get that 10 years in. <laughs> Trust me, I want to do the Philly rant. I wanted to. And trust me, nobody's more annoyed than me reacting to the entire thing and then not being able to upload it. So make sure y'all hit the thumbs up in this one. Um, y'all keep watching, keep sharing it, and y'all keep this channel growing and keep me dropping. So let's go. Let's go, man. I didn't mean to pause too much, but... I don't know, maybe that's too harsh. That shit bothers me, man. Should bother a lot Dude, there is an epidemic of gold digging whores in this country. Damn. And every night I put on the news and I'm waiting for someone to address it. Every night, never see it, you know? And every night I bring up gold digging whores and the whole crowd pulls back like I'm up here talking about Bigfoot, right? <laughs> like I'm saying the moon's made out of cheese or something. Talking about whores, people. They're everywhere. How many? How many more great men are gonna get chopped in half before we do something? Damn. Damn. Why is it so quiet in here? <laughs> God damn, I don't get it. What is it? No, is it when women, you, do you think when you bar and bar and sometimes I can't even laugh. When something's so true, that's the good thing about comedians. Either I'm gonna be laughing really hard or I'm just gonna be like, damn. That's two ways you can see I'm enjoying it. Like I'm listening to like a song. I'm, calling you I'm not calling anyone. Bars. Here a These is bars. So don't pull back. That, that's not fair. Okay. If you brought up wife beaters, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like pull back. I get it. There's guys hitting women. They need to be stopped. We gotta understand that gold digging whores are the wife beaters for men. <laughs> yeah, they are. Except we don't have that Rihanna lumped up photo in the end, so it's not obvious. It's in the eyes. <laughs> and the lines in your face. Oh, this man. It's in Mel Gibson's high-pitched voice on the answering machine. I had to give up my Laker tickets, right? <laughs> that is the sound of a man being taken for everything he's got. Laker tickets. I got to tell you, this is, I'm envious of women, okay? Oh, my God. I'm not saying your problems get solved, but at least they're taken seriously. You know? People, you got 1-800 numbers, you, get, you, got, you got ribbons. There's groups. People give a shit. Anything happens to a guy, it's just considered funny. Some woman cut her husband's dick off, threw it in the garbage disposal, and turned it on. Oh my God. People thought it was hilarious. They were like, hey, hey, Stumpy. That's Nobody crazy. cares. Lorena Bobbitt is what he's talking about. You think about, if right? a guy removed a woman's titty and threw it in the dryer, anybody would be joking about <laughs> it the next day? In the dryer? The entire country would grind to a halt. There'd be a moment of silence. The <laughs> NFL would have some special colored headband everybody had to wear for an entire month. The most effeminate color they could possibly come up with. Bro. He be speaking the truth. He be, he be kicking knowledge, bro. That's why it's, I think he's one of my favorite comedians. I know he is one of my favorite comedians. When it comes to every subject, whether it's race, whether it's... To, he does it so perfectly, and there's a lot of comedians who do try to do the same thing, and it don't land the same. You know what I mean? Like, 
This nigga Bill is something different, bro. All my heroes. Oh, let me know what else I should react to, by the way, in the comment section. Arnold Schwarzenegger, another great man. Mm. By the way, I'm sorry for pausing it, but I have to say this. The way that you guys will let me know the exact next video I should react to is by commenting below and then hitting thumbs up. If you see somebody who dropped a comment you agree with, hit thumbs up. Whatever has the most, that's the next one I react to. So work as a team. Let's work as a, as a, as a group. You Taken mean? down by that gold digging whore of a maid he's got. And I'm not, I'm not saying he's not a piece of shit for doing what he did. It was a piece of shit move. You but how come both sides. he chastised? What about the maid? Why was she called the maid the, that entire story? She was never called a whore, ever. <laughs> Just boggled my mind. She knew his wife, first name basis, played with their kids, fucked her husband in their own goddamn bed. That's right down the checklist. First ballot Hall of Fame whore, right there. <laughs> so you get your now, gold jacket. Why do you think she hooked up with them? Because of that 1987 flat top he's still rocking? <laughs> the giant space between his teeth I could put this mic cord through? Or do you think maybe it's all that kindergarten cop money laying around the goddamn bedroom? <laughs> oh, it's awful. It's a horrific thing to see as a guy, watching guys go through that shit. Let him cook! And then there's no, there's no boy examination cook. of it. They just go, ah, he's an idiot. Hey, stupid. <laughs> that guy's stupid. If that guy's stupid, what the fuck am I, right? Mm, let him cook, man. <laughs> Does it even make sense? Why would you do that? Why would you accomplish all that and then fuck it up? Hooking up with one of the ugliest human beings I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Not saying I'm a prize, I'm just saying, you know? Oh my God. It's gotta be something beyond that, this right? This crowd is feeling so awkward. You can feel the awkwardness. You know what I think it is? I think it comes down to the way he talks, you know? <laughs> that dude should be unloading trucks in Transylvania. <laughs> that should be, that should have been the height of his success. But because he's a great man, he had the book. Arnold Schwarzenegger does sound like Dracula. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> moved to America. Became famous for lifting weights. I lift weights. Nobody gives a shit. <laughs> he lifts weights. Ah, ah, ah. Becomes super famous. Did he rest on his laurels? No. Next challenge. I'm gonna become an actor, despite the fact that nobody can really understand me. <laughs> He did There's beat the no odds. Us. He starts making movies. Get down. There's a bomb. Get out of there. <laughs> Becomes one of the biggest blockbuster stars of all time. What are you going to do next, Arnie? I think I'm Maddie or Kennedy. There's no fucking way you can do that. Bam, he does it. Damn, Jerry no, Arnold Oldham, is, I'm is running cooking. for governor of a state I can't even pronounce, and he wins the election. Go ahead, Arnold. Why Hold would on. this guy think he couldn't bang his maid in his own bed and get away with it? This dude has been in the zone for over four decades. Damn. Bill, you chefing. Nothing but net. Stop chefing. I made in my own bed. Dude, that's a layup. Are you serious? I had a hit movie with the midget. I don't even need a condom. <laughs> right? And then what happens? The smoke clears. Then all these trolls come out of the woodwork and start judging this great man. All these fatties, these fucking old guys who never got any with their jowls. <laughs> coming on TV, absolutely reprehensible behavior. <laughs> what kind of a public servant? His, his, his legacy is shrouded. <laughs> Don't they have any idea what it's like to be tempted at that level, right? Like they have groupies as they waddle out to their mercury tracer. Oh my on the God. the other side of a dumpster. Really? This nigga's a battle people? rapper. This guy, he's not a great man anymore. Terminator doesn't count. Is that what the fuck you're telling me? Because he fucked Alice, really? He's still not a great man because he did that. Then that's, the whole thing's over. Anybody here think they could move to Austria, learn the language, become famous for working out, oh then be a God. movie star, then marry into their royalty and hold public office? How many lifetimes would you need? I'm on my third attempt at Rosetta Stone Spanish. Oh, my I, God. <laughs> how can I judge these guys? I can barely handle the temptations of Facebook. I'm going to judge Tiger Woods. Facts. I Cooking. Don't, I don't walk off the 18th hole and there's a busload of Scandinavian women waiting to fuck my brains out. Sorry, ladies, gotta go home to the wife, right? <laughs> no, it kills me. Oh, Bill. And there's no help out there for guys. Nah. There isn't. 
There's nothing out there to help you handle becoming rich and famous. There's nothing to prepare you. Now, you know what's crazy? As the older I get, the more, you know, as I'm a father now and I got responsibilities, I do realize. Now, obviously, he's also making jokes and speaking truth there. And as men in positions of power, you got to learn to keep your swipe in your pants because, you know, there's a lot of people out here who's trying to trick you out of your empire. You feel me? But I will say, bro, I, becoming a dad made me appreciate my dad so much and dads all around the world because, man, there is, that is a job that really goes with not as much praise or even like, you're supposed to be doing what you're doing. And if you don't do it, you'll get criticized and you'll get dragged in the mud. But if you are doing it, it's because you're supposed to. So you don't get anything either. <laughs> and I'm learning that it's a scam. <laughs> I love it though, but damn, nigga, can y'all be a little easy on it? Niggas don't care about, of course, you know, I, I do believe men are stronger, so we have to look out for women, and we got to be more protective of them. Uh, for the most part, men are physically stronger, not all the time, but damn, can we get a shoulder to cry on every now and then? God damn, nigga. For that, for that, this for shit is not an easy job. That's going to form on the horizon, right? Like Braveheart, faces painted, skirts on, will run down the hill, they'll jump on your dick in front of your wife. They don't give a shit. It's not even a handbook out there. I saw one article written about it on, time, on the cover of Time magazine. It said, why do so many rich, famous, and powerful men act like absolute pigs, right? And the article was actually written by a woman. That's like me writing a book, the third trimester, and what to expect. <laughs> Ladies, you're going to feel doctor, the pressure. If you're a doctor, you can. No, you don't want to hear that from me, right? Then why is this woman telling me what it's like to have a dick? That makes no sense. You have no idea what it's like to have a dick. I mean, technically, 20... Bill, you could you could be a gynecologist and write that. You could be a doctor and write that. Your doctor, male or female, has helps you through a lot of ailments that they don't experience. So does, that's like saying a doctor has to have cancer to help a cancer, someone with cancer, nah. Or a doctor has to have a cold to. Uh, or, I mean, if they experience a cold probably in their life, but you know, like, there's there's doctors who never had leprosy who, you know what I mean? Like, Four, seven. But do I it, feel do it, it, though. Fuck it, do it. That's what it's saying. Do it, do it. Yeah, do it. No, our pain's our worst enemy. That's how we survived as a species. Every man in here is programmed to fuck 85% of the women in this room. Right? You're lying. Yeah, we are. Do it, do it, fuck it, do it, you know? It's just that you won't. That's the only reason why we don't, you know? That's not you keeping your dick in check, you know? Some guy at, at Home Depot working there, he wants to fuck just as many women as a celebrity, right? But he, he can't do it because whores don't care about lumber, right? <laughs> 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 but the second he hits the fucking lottery, all of a sudden, you know that, do it, do it, fuck it, do it, you know? That wasn't affecting his life. Then all of a sudden these whores show up, I'll do it, I'll suck it, I'll do it, right? Mm. <laughs> no, somebody's got, somebody's got to step up. All right? I'm not even blaming horse, really. This crowd has the same energy of like watching your friend's parents fight. <laughs> it's so awkward. He's chopping, God, though. Fucking idiots, what are we doing? Why are we working so hard and then giving it all away? To Facts. Some chick who did We're tricking ourselves that, out, yeah. Hooters, you know? <laughs> They're fucking bums sitting there with fucking Dorito dust in their cleavage, walking around with hundreds of millions of dollars. Yep. I'm sick of that shit. That's what the law says. hundred years ago, I could beat you with a fucking mop handle. and be like, well, that's what the law says. Doesn't make us right. No, it's unreal. And all this shit's going down, and we don't, we, we're not doing anything. What are we doing? Same old shit. Sitting around watching Shark Week, right? <laughs> <laughs> watching shit about poisonous snakes half a world away. Just filling your head up with all this useless information. What to do if you come face to face with a Bengal tiger? Don't look at it, don't look away. Slowly back up as you push your friend forward. <laughs> All this useless information, yet hanging between your legs is this thing that could crumble your entire empire Facts. seven minutes or less. Don't know a fucking thing about it. Facts. Oh Even man. Even worse, you think it's your friend. Give him a flower. Yeah, you know why? Because your dick, your dick's like a dreamer. You know, your dick believes. It's like a motivational speaker. I don't give a shit what question you ask it. It's always like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Sounds like a plan. Exit strategy. Later. We'll be fine. 
Where's your dick when you get caught, right? Then it's just slumped over, like, hey, you know, I thought it was a good idea. You, know? <laughs> you have to know that, dude. Your dick, if your dick was a third base coach, it oh, wouldn't hold man. anybody up. It'd just be fucking waving people around. <laughs> everybody, go in standing up. You got it, you got it. Oh, shit, here she comes. Slide, slide, slide. All right, you guys were awesome. Thank you so much for coming out. I hope you now you're right. had as good a time as I did. Thank you. You killed that, Bill. Uh, thank you guys for making this channel a success. Let's continue it. I'm going to be working as hard. Uh, this is my third channel, but I'm working hard no matter what to bring you all these clips. Thank you guys so much, man.